Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about installing Bitnami virtual machine on your PC for WordPress. You can visit the Bitnami website, bitnami.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Go to applications. You will find all the applications that we use these days on the web. Joomla, Drupal, all these uh, apps, even Magento. You can use this for testing purpose or you can even install it on your own Azure or AWS server the same way we are going to install now. Just click WordPress. You will have different options, single tier or multi tier, on cloud, on containers. These all even containers will be on the cloud. These will be hosted by VMware. On computer, previously they used to give two options. There was one uh, installer and one virtual machine. Now only virtual machine is available. To install a virtual machine, you can even download, either download a VMware player or virtual box. I prefer virtual box. So first we can download virtual box seven, latest one. This is by Oracle, uh, Windows host. yeah download has started once it completes completed simply install it is a simple setup click yes next next yes yes install four steps yes yes next install after this will be completed we can go back to our uh, bitnami virtual machine download area we can go and download the virtual machine it will ask you to sign up with one of your accounts or you can click the last one no thanks just let me download please while it is downloading the application credentials oh, you're welcome the application credentials Default credentials are username is user and the password you can click here to view. E even for SSH or secure FTP, the username is Bitnami and the password will be revealed here. Let's click on the first link where the application default password will be. It will be generated. It says it it will be generated when the machine is started when the virtual machine is started so it will be around this area where it will show username and password and the ip of the virtual machine that you will use to access uh, virtual machine has been installed with virtual box now we can add let's see virtual machine it's still downloading Still, it will take 23 seconds. We'll wait. So this is the complete guide or the frequently asked questions, how you can change the password, how you connect to SSH server, how you connect to PHP my admin. The configuration files are there. Installing VirtualBox guest edition. So you will use these commands because it will be installed as a Linux virtual machine. I believe Debian or Ubuntu. Let's see, get started, learn about Vietnamese images. I think, yes, virtual machine has been downloaded. Once you have downloaded, you just click the download and it will ask you to install directly import your virtual machine you can do it manually as well simply go to your oracle uh, virtual box manager add and provide the location under downloads you will provide the location of the virtual box for now since we click it is giving us what it will be using we can change these settings later we can increase cpu we can increase or decrease ram and stuff like this and the location of the uh, folder just click finish after that 
and it is deploying it is importing the appliance they call it appliance because there will be there can be multiple virtual machines it has been completed let's hit start it is powering up the virtual machine for the first time the process might be a bit slow but generally it's not that slow so yes it is debian bitnami logo is there it is installing importing the appliance these files are copied login as administrator it is auto login yes now you can see this is the ip of the appliance this is the username and this is the password Okay, the username is Bitnami and the password is also Bitnami. Yes, we are through. Yes, the password has been changed successfully. So the default password is changed but let's try to connect using 192.1 Six eight dot zero dot hundred. So now we can connect using that IP to our WordPress. Yes, you can see this is our WordPress site hosted on the local machine. It's a local virtual machine or WP admin. Of course, admin is not found. Yes. Uh, the password that was given to us at the start of the virtual machine Yes, we have successfully installed our virtual machine. We can see what is the update pending. Okay, it's a plugin requires an update because we just downloaded the WordPress uh, virtual machine. That means whatever we have is already updated from all the available plugins and even from the WordPress website or the core uh, application WordPress it's just updating like normal I think yes I did switch on the network network yes the network is available for this virtual machine that means it will download everything what we could do, we could increase the, when we turn it off, we could increase, I think, the system's memory, base memory is about 700 MB. I believe we do need more. And even the processor, we have only given two CPU, we can give even three. Uh, that will 
increase the speed and that will enhance the performance of the virtual machine when we put a big uh, template or a, a big page uh, to import. I hope you like the video.